Hey everybody, Jen Merchant here. So Tim Merchant and I ended up going to Port Aransas, Texas to do a little bit of shark tagging from the beach. We successfully caught, tagged, and released one spinner shark and four greater hammerheads. So we are using tag two, two, three, two, one. It is 3.30 in the afternoon. We are using vial S26953. Tilm is hooked up. So we get asked all the time, why do we tag sharks? Well, we tag sharks for the Heart Institute out of Corpus Christi, Texas and we get information for their conservation of their population, like where they go to pup and their migratory patterns. And the DNA samples provide us with the information on the health issues of the shark that was caught at the time. Do I need to fix the lines? Are they crossing? Okay. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Oh, he's still head bobbing. Yeah, it looks like a good bull. I hope so. I can't wait to see it. Oh no, I'm over you. You're over? Yeah. Where is the D hooker, by the way? Yeah, right in the bed of the truck. Drop your line, let's see. Yep. Yeah, hold on, hold on, hold on. Oh, shit. Okay, okay, okay. I'm moving this one to here. We're good. You go hurry, over. Hurry, hurry. We are double hooked up now. This one's coming straight in. Like, straight in quick. Don't come back. What was that bait? That was my jack. It's probably gone. Yeah. You have to change if you don't really pick it up. I just need to know when I need to get out there. Well, I'll get out there. Maybe I should go lead her. Yeah, I want to lead her in. We got other poles going off. We're going to have a heck of a time, aren't we? Possibly. We got two going off at the same time. No, you're good, you're good. I came all the way from Southeast Oklahoma to see somebody hook a big fish. Oh, you're, you're going to see a big one. one. Yeah, it's down there. It's a little bit of big one, so we got to call it one. Now you got all kinds of people watching. Ah, uh, it's probably a big hard hit. <laughs> Who is that? He said go Timmy. There she is. Or a spinner. Before we do that, let's get her things, her vial.
Thank you. Let me go sit this down. He's gonna hold it, so. Just touch your back. All right, I've touched the shark. That's off my bucket list. That's off the bucket list. Hold it tight. You want to touch your shark? Backwards. That is. Thank you. That is so cool. You ready? Is that a spinner shark? It's a male. Female. Still, she's big for a spinner. She's a big spinner. Really good catch, babe. Good catch, I'm proud of you, good job. Tim hooked up again. On a, a good fish. What's up, baby? Not even a fish <laughs> Woo! He's angry. He's jumping. You see him jumping out there? No, we only. Oh, there he goes. Jump. Yeah. Loudy, loudy. Let me get the stuff. She's definitely gonna be big enough to tag he, she, whatever. Probably gaff top. Uh -huh. Gaff top. A pretty big gaff top. So we're looking at tag number two one nine one eight. Viol two two four eight zero. Tim is hooked up again. It is 5.30 p.m. What was that? Okay, make sure what one of mine. Good job, okay. What a the greater. Yep, greater. Female. Oh, she got you good. Yeah, she mad. She mad, mad, bro. This side. Six foot seven. Six foot eight. Hold on. All right. Five. Six eight five.
god, I was gonna get bit out there. I told him there was a big fish headed his way. He didn't care. He's fishing backwards. <laughs> Thank you. Really help. He's still on he is, he's fighting. Oh yeah. She's tagged, DNA sample done. We'll measure and take pics. Let her go. Seven, four. Okay. Five, six. Okay. Garth. Went down pretty good. Nope. So Amanda Lee on Instagram asked, how do I safely release a shark? Well, by the time that you reel in the shark, you tag and DNA sample, it's pretty much tired out and it's ready to get back into the water. It's the smaller ones that you have to worry about. They're a little bit more feisty and they can turn on you a little bit easier. You just have to be extra careful and watch what you're doing and always keep your eye on the shark. She's trying, she's kicking. Yeah. Let her Good. kick. Watch your feet. There you go. Come on, baby. Turn, Turn around. around. I see you. Now she's moving. There you go. Now she's moving. There you go. Swim that hammer out, babe. There you go. all the time is how far out do we drop our baits and how do we take our baits out uh, you can use a kayak you can use a jet ski you can use a drone there's multiple different ways of putting a bait for a shark out into the water from the surf uh, we usually take it anywhere from 300 to 800 yards out depends on the day and the conditions of the water we like to be around the color change for sure been a crazy crazy night we've caught quite a few sharks it's been an epic day it's not over yet we're still waiting for the poles back there to go off we've got a wonderful fire going crazy story while we were collecting firewood we realized we forgot the shovel and i ended up finding a piece of a shovel actually so exhausted that we forgot to get video footage of the catch and release of the two hammers that we got that night but we were still able to get the DNA samples and tag and pictures too smoky <laughs> I'm not getting up unless the pole screams this is how we sleep we lay back in these chairs <laughs> It's so comfortable and it's so relaxing. We don't even need a blanket. Unless it's winter time, then we'll grab like a sheet or something. Right up under the poles, wait for them to scream. They're all fun and games, so one of them poles screams. How?
How epic would it be if one just like went off right now? Or two. I wish it was mine. He's got me beat, y'all. He's already caught three to my one. It's not fair. Uh, <laughs> it's the way I hook my bait. You gotta kiss it. You gotta kiss you gotta your bait. <laughs> well, you win then, because I'm not kissing my bait. It is pretty smoky, though. But look at that fire. Oh, it's gorgeous. All driftwood found on the beach. Oh, there's my shovel. Look it. Would you look at that? Just look at it. Hey, it works. This has been the best luck we've had on probably any of our shark fishing trips that we've had so far. Uh, it was just an epic time and we are super stoked about it. And we are glad that we can show you some of the footage and information that we got.